Welcome back. Well, this morning, state and local leaders will unveil a new bill meant to increase public safety. It's in response to last year's deadly shooting at Methodist Dallas Medical Center. Fox Force TCA Muzinga live at Dallas Police Headquarters with more TCA. Yeah, good morning, guys. It was nearly five months ago when police say a gunman was released from prison to see his newborn baby and then ended up killing two people and assaulting his girlfriend at the time. Now, security in the hospital was able to detain the gunman by shooting him in the leg. But even Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia expressed his frustrations after the shooting. Hernandez was paroled with an ankle monitor after he was sentenced for a violent robbery. Police say he was able to enter a hospital and bring in in a gun, killing Jackie Pakua and Katie Flowers. The newborn was not hurt, but the purpose of this bill is, of course, to increase public safety, but also prohibit the eligibility of violent convicted offenders for electronic monitoring patrol, like ankle monitors, and create a felony offense for removing them, which could result in the offender completing their original sentence. State Representative Rafael Anchia of Dallas is spearheading this bill, so we're expecting to learn more about this bill this morning, and the announcement will be at the Dallas Police Headquarters right behind me, just south of downtown, and the announcement is going to start at 10 a.m. this morning. For Good Day, I'm TCM Muzinga.